it's okay. I understand. It's crazy. I just got out of the hospital with my teeth. I had to go get my stuff done on this. All this was full up right there. And then we had one guy, one lady, her finger got in a truck accident and she hadn't heard back from him so we had to do that and then we had a goat with a hoof coming off. And then another one had a you could just pick his foot up and pour things and touch and just everything. Yeah, emergencies happen. It's fine. Oh crap, here's these people again. Okay. She brought her saddle this time. She was going to ride on them. Yeah. So that she could ride them better? Yeah, she, I don't think she wants to put it over there. You don't, is it dry over there? You can go with the, um, with the, yeah, and the trample, and trampoline. Uh -huh. Just kind of go close to that? Yeah, because there's a separate tank right here. Oh, I don't want to remove it. My helmet's in that box. I'm just going to have these real quick. Yeah, he'll. We went through so many helmets up there at the barn with the girls and none of them like wearing them. I have no idea what those are for. It's little pads putting your hat in here. You can put them around if you want. Uh -huh. um, they, most time they'll stick too. You 
I don't have more. Uh, just if you need extra cushion and stuff like that. You can put it around the edges on the inside to make it smaller. You know, just so it fits your head better. Okay. So we'll see. Is this a size small? Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Now, these are adjustable. They go back and forth, and they also get it go in and out. I think this is a little bit more tight than that to do. I'm going to get you over here. I'll let you put it on, and then I'll help you with the shape. You might want to take your glasses off when you first put it on, just so it's not pinching at you. I might take my hair bow out. Okay, you want to do that real quick? Yeah. You can probably put it low on your head if you just want to keep your hair out of your eyes. Okay. Alright, before you push it down all the way, I'd pull your hair back so it's not poking in your eyes. There you go. If it's kind of snug but not too hard. Mm-hmm. Now, when you got it right here, you want to just, just like the throat latch, you want to just be able to get your arm, your hands under there. So, oh, sorry. Mm-hmm. Okay, I was making sure. I didn't want to say something wrong. I don't always pronounce everything perfectly. Is that too tight? No. Okay. And this because when we tightened it up, it changed the, the angle it was going at. So we got hit it where it was not expected for. uncomfortable? No. Okay, can you put just a little bit under there, but does it stay on snug? Probably tighten it up just a little more. You want it on you, but you don't want it choking you. But if, no. you, if you tap something, you don't want it pulling on your head off either. <laughs> mm -mm. You want to have a little bit of giving. Feel comfortable? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's about right. Because you have just enough so it's not choking at you, but it, it's going to hold on. Now all you got to do is snap and unsnap it, and that's right here in the middle. Right here, you snap. Okay. If you push it in and pull it out, we'll get this little piece off too if you want to. So let's get him set up. What do you want me to put that up? I don't think it's going to pull it. Okay. You've already brushed them down? Yes. Do you remember how to do a um, bridle? I think so. Okay. This strap mm -hmm. has to go under. And there's chance. Yes, and if not, it'll catch it and it won't let you put it in there good. Okay. 
I got it. Mm -hmm. Let me show you again real quick. Okay. It's okay. No, it's okay. That's why I'm here. If we go over it enough times, then it'll, it'll, it'll be a just habit. Just in, I hold this up here, mm -hmm. and I put this in my hand. Okay. So if I wasn't on his head, it would look like this. Me making the brow band, mm -hmm. and me holding the bed. When you come around, you can feel his teeth mm -hmm. with your fingers. Don't get between them. That's what I said. I felt the bit getting his teeth. Yeah. And so you just let him open his mouth. Come on, mister. There you go. It goes over that bridle, that halter. Did your head glow? <laughs> you look like it. We're doing it over here. I think the halter had it. Yeah, held up. These we're going to keep down by the buckle because it seems pretty stiff. I wouldn't. Yeah, I oiled it and oiled it. You might need to keep oiling it mm -hmm. just to keep it where it's going to start getting comfortable because this is right on this buckles on this bone right here. Mm -hmm. So, with it being like that, if it gets a little more flexible, maybe we could get that off of there. Okay. It was just so cold. Ma'am? I was telling tell the prince that it was just a cold. Oh, he's And if you want, later on, when we get the halter out from under it, mm -hmm. we'll put um, a little mark on the bottom side of the halter, and that way you always know what hole to go to. And that way you don't have to worry about it. You can stretch it and fill it around and all, but not worry about it. I don't think we can get them saddled or uh, saddled up here. I forgot. Brian, can you get those bolts? I don't
thought that was too late, not knowing. I might be getting in trouble. What, honey? That's <laughs> right. Somebody's getting in trouble. Who? <laughs> I don't know. A kid. Oh, I didn't even pay attention. I was over here putting the buckles on here. Yes. Okay. The way he's acting, just standing here, you might want to get some just in case. Oh yeah, he's allergic, really bad allergic to flies. Mm -hmm. So I have to keep him spray all year long. I'm trying, Prince. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm coming, honey. I just wanted to get these clips on here. Hold on. Go back in the room. Gonna open that for me then. Okay. Okay. First off, you don't want his leg back there because his skin will get pinched. Okay. So if you'll just get him to move his foot, there you go. See how that opens up his armpit? Okay, I didn't know that. That's for him. Yeah, because you don't want it all pinched in, and then when he moves, it to hurt him. That's probably why I was trying to tighten it up and move. Yeah, I hold still right there. Before you tighten it all the way, you go, always do this with the kids. You take the fox, runs in the front door, runs around the kitchen, runs back out. So, <laughs> so you go in, out, and up, and leave this here. Mm -hmm. And you're just going to pull that. Yeah, and use your body. There you go. And they're so tiny, that's going to help you too. Instead of trying to just do it with your arms. Hold on a second. Tiny. One more time. No, nope, just pull it as much as you can. All right. Now you're going to tighten this first. And that flattens it out. So walk around a little bit, and then you'll tighten it again. The dust had it clean, but it, it's not going to stay clean. I'm going to go down with this so it doesn't come to a fashion. Okay. I don't need these. If you're not going to use a back strap, you don't. Not me. No, I need to just take it off. Yes, sir. Okay. And that, there should be a little knot under here. Just push it off. Come off. We'll get it when we take the saddle off if you need it. What okay. Oh, if you want to. But let's get her. I'm going to let Brianna gonna put this here. Uh, Brianna put this here. I'll just show you. Oh. We'll put the clips on. Is that too loose? That'll be as hard as it'll go right here. Tighten this up. Or poke a hole in that because these aren't supposed to hang on the shoulders. Mm -hmm. We'll get it up a little higher, which all you have to do is get. Do you have a half poke? No. We'll get one. I'll bring it next time I come out mm -hmm. and we'll get the holes punched right too for you. But that could probably go about up to there. Okay. So do we need to take the breast collar off right now? Right now we will. It's okay. Not hurt. Okay. And then get the bottom one. All it is is just the bottom of the bottom. Yes, and we don't have any big horns right now.
I didn't get it tied enough. I thought I didn't know it tastes this long to tack up a horse. Well, I mean, we're still showing. <laughs> And if you touch right there on his little frog, he should think he's going to run it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the ferry's coming out tomorrow. Okay. Her nose will lie. She's like... <laughs> and do you, still, you still want her to ride him, right? Yeah. My uh, uncle does. She wants, he wants her to ride him to the... Issues out of him. Yes, sir. Like, I'm going to go on top of my Okay. I'm going to take it off while I do it. Well, I was just leaving it on there for her, but I'll take yeah. it off. Yeah, so you can handle him. <laughs> He's relaxed, anyways. Mm -hmm. He's like, oh. Because I've never uh, tried him, but I ain't really, really running. So. Well, I mean, right now you need to learn it a walk, so we don't want him speeding up. Because you're still learning to stop him good. If he doesn't stop good mm -hmm. at a walk, then when you get him in a run, he won't respect you either. But he needs a refresher, <laughs> and I need to learn. Well, that's why we both come up here. We'll get him right, and we'll get y'all communicating good. All you got to do, as soon as you learn how to communicate with him and get, make sure he understands that you know how to tell him what to do, then he'll be relaxed Yeah, can like she that. work with him? The, um, we, he would load when I first got him, and he got hurt in the horse club, and mm -hmm. we, we have problems now getting him back in the horse club. Yeah, if you if you have the trailer here. No, I don't have the horse trailer. <laughs> okay, well, when we get ours, we might bring it every now and then when we come up, if you want us to, okay? Yeah. And I think later on, she can take her horse up here, too, and maybe y'all could start on the road a little bit. But start in here, getting them used to each other, and then if we have the yeah, trailer Yeah, that's here. what a friend of mine did. I said, do not put your horse close, because I don't know what he's doing no, here. No, we don't, because her horse kicks. So I'll let you know ahead of time. We don't want to put her <laughs> no, close he to mounted, you. Now he mounted her mare. He reared up and mounted oh her mare God. on me on top of him. <laughs> I'm like, I have cones with him. Will this help? Did he kick? Yeah, we'll, we'll get it up there in a minute. No, he didn't I, kick. I kicked him and got him back him off of him. Mm -hmm. so. but, but did he quit putting his mare close to him after that? Mm-mm. No, he still had it. <laughs> yes, it was just left, right, stop, go. He likes to go fast on that hill over there. So just make sure he slows down when he goes down the hill. He looks pretty relaxed today. Yeah, he was relaxed right there. Mm -hmm. And I've been also taking stuff that I can think the kids play with, uh -huh. come out here and make noises. Yeah, and get him used to it. Put plastic bags, like just tie it on a little I did bag. that. He's, he's not scared of a plastic bag. Oh, I yeah. put it on his head. I put it on his back. Hang it on the trees. Mm-hmm. And rode him there past it. I put the have the little pinwheels that they have at the stores. You can pop that around different places and stuff. Little things just to keep them desensitized. And I'm like, if he ain't scared of something on the ground and me, it, and him spooking with me in the saddle, it has to be me making you, him nervous. Well, you, you probably see something that you think he's going to be scared of. Do you do that? Yeah. Oh, he might be scared of that. And then your body language feeds to him. So if you're the leader and you look at something and get scared, mm -hmm. he needs to be scared because he's the follower. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's how he looks at it. Oh, my gosh, if she's scared, I need to be scared too, you know? <laughs> That's why when the wind was blowing, I said, well, that day I rode him, I didn't even notice the wind was blowing. Yeah. And we were sitting here relaxed. We wasn't even paying attention to it. Mm -hmm. No. And now I know he's scared of deer. Well, yeah, a lot of them do. She almost got ran over with one while she was on her horse. That's how she came off one day. 
So it's not only him, it's just something... No, it's just something alive that could be near you. You know, you don't know, when they look at it at a distance, they don't know if it's a predator or prey or what. But when it runs by you... That's, like, yeah, that's... Well, then a bird, the first time I got bucked off, a bird flew right in our saddle. Oh, my God. Right in my face. Mm -hmm. He turned and he started going... And he was going home. Yeah. Well, I rode him in these woods, and he seen a deer, stuff a couple of deers, and he spooked and bucked me off. Uh-huh. Uh, the objects, he... It's yeah. just to desensitize him and get him where he's more relaxed with you, and you relax with him. Mm-hmm. And when you said, what, well, I turn in him, me, me jerking on the... Yeah, well, I mean, if you'll watch her when she's turning and backing, do you see how her elbows are pretty much hanging down? And when she turns them, she doesn't reach way behind her butt. She pulls her hands up, see? That's my, yeah, yeah. and then you said he's hitting his mouth, and I'm like, yeah, I probably was caught with him bucking me off. Well, I mean, yeah, if you, if you do it hard or if you come up, you're putting that bit at a different angle. And your bit has a little thing in the middle, and when you pull, the side cheeks go down, but that point goes up to the roof of the mouth. So that's what it does. It does this number. And so it pinches on the jaw, and it pokes the roof of their mouth. You good? He good? So you stay relaxed the whole time. You look pretty relaxed. Oh, uh, do I need a flash for him? So she only minds when you get one who looks more black. This is, okay, this is black. This one is sleeping. Because I have kids up here, out here, and if they're playing with something, I don't want him to spook. I want to make some chalk for the face. Yeah. Just spray it on the face. Yeah, I do that. I'll spray it in the face. I'll yeah. leave them that. I'll put it on their ears and their forehead, and then I'll spray right under there. And that just keeps it where it's not getting in their eyes and in their nose and mouth. I didn't know that was up. Here's sitting there relax. Just in case. I forgot to put this up. Need to even try to go in here. Mm-hmm. We just gotta put those. There, there's supposed to be a wild that goes there in their door right there. We just ain't got it up. Hurricane Mike took my barn. Yeah. I was putting the barn up, and I didn't. I, know, I still haven't got it on. The perfectly set up for stalls and everything. Do not poke me. And it doesn't have a roof yet. <laughs> <laughs> At a good point, you poke it. Can you put your tape on there? Mm-hmm. But I don't know if it's right. It's okay. Look at your tape, and mm -hmm. if you have to go back, because that's too tight, and you want it to hang down, just make a little bit of a bow on each side. Um, and you want to sit up straight. There you go. Because if you're leaning forward to do it, you're not balanced. Is this electrical tape? Yeah, it's tight. That works really good. Well, we use electrical tape on a lot of ours. Oh, you're okay. Okay. Later on, when you get used to it. Mm-hmm. Try that for a little bit and see if it works. 
might have to pull it back a little more. But when you get used to it, you take a little black magic marker, like the Sharpie pen. Oh, I have one in there. Yeah. But when you get used to it, you can put a dot on the underside and then just remember where you're grabbing. Or you can put a dot on the top. I'll hold these for you. I cut that and come off. I still think it, it's all right. Let's not do these today. We'll put more on later. They don't have the sticky right now. And I'd like to see them um, back a little bit. Pull these two fingers over your ring. One more. Just so I can see it. There we go. Right about there. You comfortable? Mm-hmm. Okay, you got that one okay? Mm-hmm. These a little longer, I mean a little shorter, right about there. Okay, when you go to turn, I want you to pull to your hip and okay. turn that way. And then you're going to put your foot, good job. Didn't even have to say it, you already went to it. Walk up that hill, you're going to go to that second cone up there. Yeah. Whoa. Now, which comb? Which comb you want me to go to? Just come to me. I'm going to loosen your reins up just a little more in your hands. Because when you're riding them, mm -hmm. you're holding them like this a little. And you want it when he's going in the right direction. You want it relaxed. Okay. So that says you're doing good. There's no pressure. Okay. And if he turns, you can feel him turn his body and look and stuff. Then you just tap that rein back to straighten his head up. And then you get harder as he gets more stubborn. Mm -hmm. So this starts from ground level, letting him know he can sit here and be all comfortable and not worry about his reins. Or he can sit there and, and be a little bit more uncomfortable and have you tugging on him the whole time. Okay. Okay. I'm going to get you to go in and out of these and use your feet on each corner. Watch the tree go. This way.
it to you. Instead of doing this, pretty, hmm. instead of doing that, just pull it down to your hip. Okay. Alright, you come back around and we're gonna do that again. you're over like this and a bird lands in your lap mm -hmm. and he bolts that way you're just going to tip right in and so we want to stay our butt balanced and just kind of turn at the hip for most of it you don't want to have to lean your whole body over because that throws your balance off put, put your weight down in the bottom mm -hmm. and that's going to help you stay in your saddle too if he does do something mm -hmm. he doesn't look like he's going to do anything right now <laughs> yeah because he ain't going to ain't going to stop i try to correct him right there at the so, mm -hmm. yes ma'am. Well, he's, he's doing pretty good right now. And I'm going to get you to go around them and then go up to that corner. Okay. And there's that. Miss Cordine, mm -hmm. you want to pull back? Oh, twist my body. <laughs> just stay still, just for a second. Mm -hmm. But when you're riding, you're doing this number. And this number, you want to pull back. Just a little? Yes, so you can turn instead of pushing the top of your weight over, leave your weight in your rump, and pull your weight to your hips. So if you have to go over, don't do this, because your hands shouldn't be over your elbows. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to pull down to your hips. So just remember like that. So when you're up there and you're turning, if you put your weight up here, you instantly, you can feel your weight on your butt when you're down here doing stuff. But when you come up here and you turn, you can feel your chest has the weight then. So what you want to do is when you turn, instead of, you're, you're getting the habit of doing this, but that puts, however high your, your arms go, is where you're shifting your weight up to. So if you want it to stay down low where your butt stays in the saddle, mm -hmm. instead of your top tipping over, it and he's not doing nothing right now but if you're out on a trail and you just go to make a simple turn up here your weight can yeah. tip you over um, just if he does something different you know it throws you off balance so when you go to turn him mm -hmm. just remember push your knees just turn your belly button point your stomach wherever you want to go and so when you turn your belly you're going to turn if i was on a horse and i turn you see my knees Mm -hmm. So if I'm turning, and don't make it mechanical, just relax and just turn. Your body will naturally turn his shoulders like that, okay? But instead of coming up here, come a little bit lower and just, you can pull his face, but pull him to your hip a little bit. And always use your knees and your feet to turn them. You could probably turn them around some of these without even using your hands, but that's later. <laughs> <laughs> we'll show you how to do that later. Let's get your steering good mm -hmm. and your, your hands good and then we'll get into bigger things. Baby, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> I think he was looking at Brianna. She's over there. All right. Now start on this side there. That way I can see you left and right. Lower them down a little. There you go. Good. Anything under your chest, use your foot. Get them off of me. There you go.
Oh, he missed it. <laughs> trying to follow you because huh? <laughs> last time we um ran around you uh -huh. oh he was trying to follow me mm -hmm. follow the leader <laughs> oh good oh First one or second one? Felt the turn, yeah. Yeah. Okay.
them with that one, you tell them to move a different direction. Okay. So let's do it again. So what you're going to do is you got your legs right there. Mm -hmm. You're going to push in with one and relax the other out. Push this one out? Yes, ma'am. When you push this one in, you just let, and you don't have to push it way out. Just make sure it's got enough room not to, to interfere with this. Actually, he's been pretty good today. He is. He is. He's a lot better than he was last time. And so this is what you're going for is every time he's like, oh, they're going to make me do exercises. And so he's not going to be so wound up as what are we doing? What are we doing? He's going to say, oh, okay, when she gets on me, we're just going to do it. Yeah, because when we tack it, um, that's the first time I've ever seen him when tacking somebody, tacking him up and mm -hmm. putting his leg up like that and him relax. Oh, stretching it? Yeah. Oh. And him, then he relaxed it. That's good, though. Mm -hmm. That's good. He's, he want, you want to see this, the little sleepy look in their eye, just relaxing, not caring what's going on, knowing that he's safe. You know, he's, you're not telling him to do anything he's going to be scared to do right now. Mm -hmm. And then later on, when we get on the road, it'll be, because that's what you want to do is ride him, right? Out on the road and stuff like that, not just in here. Yeah. So that's your next step. So we'll get one of our horses up here and we'll relax with you and we'll all they can see our horses are relaxed and he can be relaxed and then he can get out in a relaxing environment and we'll just go probably maybe 100 feet up the road and back 100 feet up the road and back and then eventually we'll go two or 300 feet up the road and back yeah and i want to do the bonnet bay ride on you you wanted to mm -hmm. yeah it was there was a lot of um wasn't as many horses this year if there was, we didn't go to the, the rodeo. We her mom was like, you're not ready yet for the Pontefay ride. I said, I know yeah. that. Maybe Brianna wants to go next year. Maybe we could all go together. Okay. You know, and just that way we'll be right there with you. We don't mind a bit, you know, and I think we're going to invite like our neighbor Don and my husband might ride. And we'll just all be one little huddled up family. So I'll be ready by next year. Did Absolutely. The... Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. It is. It's all in your head. You need to mentally just kind of absorb what you're doing, mm -hmm. and know if you're relaxed, 90% of the time he's going to be relaxed. And yes, if something drops in your lap, he's probably going to go, "Oh my gosh," because you probably went, "Oh my gosh," at the same time. You know, a bird was in your lap. I can only. Imagine. I said, "Oh no!" I said, "I was like, shoot, I'm going to be off of him." <laughs> but. But I mean the second. But I did get back on him when I kept getting thrown off. I did get back on him. That's good. Don't be scared to get back in because every time you get up there, it's telling him, "Well, that ain't gonna work with me." You know, you're not just gonna sit there and pull him back a little. That's a bubble. Just bounce your legs a little and then pull back. And you don't want to go past your chest. You want to go down that hip and tap your feet. Now you're getting it tight. Mm -hmm. I can see you're stressing about it. Move your hands up the reins just a little. We're going to get you some something where you don't have to fidget with your reins as much. Mm -hmm. So you feel more comfortable. Now bumping. But, but what I want you to do is tap, tap, tap. And then use your feet. Back up. Back up. Back up. You see the difference? Mm -hmm. And you're not trying to do this by your chest because that throws you off balance. You're going to your hips. And just do it again. So I want you to do it again. Just go right to your hips and rock the rock the rain back and forth towards you. And do a little yeah, there you go. And then stay low in the back. Whoa. Go for okay, it. Now you're telling them to back up mm -hmm. and then you're telling them when to stop. So that's that's you probably doing really good <laughs> compared to if he was to plow around with you before. Mm hmm and um, I'm going to get you to go around in circles a couple times and I'm going to watch your arms and make sure you're not doing this or this because this is off balance. Anything over your rib cage, you're kind of asking to be off balance. And I'm not saying there's never a call not to, to do it, but for the most part, everything can be done under mm -hmm. your, your rib cage. Okay? Okay. All right, so just relax and we're going to make a big circle right here. Right here? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> so you want to just walk straight over this way and then just keep them in a circle. And you can't get on me and bounce my boobs. <laughs> you 
This is what saved me. Keep them turning, don't let them stop at my boobs. <laughs> he likes my boobs. Probably smell horses. Uh, probably smelling horses. He might. Now release your foot and go all But turn your body with you. Okay, when you do that, your knee comes in here. Okay. Which pushes a little bit on the shoulder. So, and if you turn your body, just point your belly button at whatever you want to go. Okay. So, if you want to go, just say to that cone, mm -hmm. you would just kind of turn because he has to come out. Because he can't just, he can turn straight, but you'd have to just get him to turn from the ground. But you want to make a circle, so you just like turn that way, but look. And then the more he straightens up, you just keep looking at the cone. And that, your body language straightens up. So I want you to come out this way and look at the cone and then turn that way. Not this one, the one down the hill. Oh. There you go. And you're going to look down. You don't need to look down. Look over at this side. When you look down, you're putting your weight down on this chair. Not stopping, Prince. Sorry, good luck. Why does he keep stopping? Well, he's probably used to not having to do much. He probably goes that way after he gets there, Mom. I got me. Yeah. Do you know what I'm going to do? This is different to him. So he's like, turn him to the cone because he's coming straight for him. <laughs> look at the cone. Don't look down. There you go. Getting a little jab. Okay.
And so you can do the same thing and try it with both feet. Just go at a nice slow walk mm -hmm. and just see what your feet do all by themselves without your hands telling them anything. Well, here, go this way. Just go straight to that cone and keep going and then come back. You pull, pull you get there you go. Well, he's still going that way. That's good. Yeah. Good boy. While you're standing there, don't ask him to do anything with his face. I want you to just hold this still right here. I want you to pick this foot up. I mean, this foot, this hand up, and pull it that way. Just like you're opening a door. This way? Yes, ma'am. And put your foot right here. It was me, it wasn't him. No, it's okay. So, if I had the reins in my hand right now, mm -hmm. I'm going to hold this straight, mm -hmm. and I'm going to open this one up like a door. Okay. And when you put your foot right here... You shut the door. Well, no. Just leave this, leave this still. You open your door and you keep it open. I'm going to get you to make a complete circle, but I don't want you to let them go forward. So this needs to hold his face still. Mm -hmm. This stops forward motion. Mm -hmm. You don't have to move this. Open the door. Okay. And just let this foot in. And this is going to pivot. He's going to pivot around when you get it right. Okay? Okay. So you got this all right? Mm -hmm. And you can do anywhere in this area. He's chewing again. <laughs> that's okay. They're, that's just when they're thinking about stuff. But hold this one still and I want you to open the door I want your body to lean and I want your foot to come in okay, so when you open the door I'm gonna look the same way you are so I'm holding this my hand here mm -hmm. open the I'm door here open this and push here can you try to show her do you mind if she shows you nope okay. I know. He won't do it quite as well, but we're teaching you and him together at the same time. Mm -hmm. We're going to go one way and then the other, Brianna. And then we're going to move the front. And Is it loose? Just a little bit. He's just getting sweaty under there. Mm -hmm. There we go. I know, son. I know. Like I said, I didn't sign up for this gym membership. <laughs> See, I like being a couch potato. <laughs> no, sir. Stay right here. Well, I hate to tell you, my uncle don't want you to be a couch potato. No. <laughs> he paid for his food. Yeah. And the person that gave him to me wanted me to ride him. Wanted somebody to ride him. Got turned. Just a little bit. Give her Bring him to a stop so she can see where to start from, buddy. Yeah. Okay. Alright, now she's going to pretty much hold his face from going forward. I want you to go straight with his neck. Right, straight with his neck, and you don't want much slack, but you want it kind of like this. 
It needs to have a little them. slack, but not a lot. But they can turn their head about keeping it straight, and you want your hand to be about right here. And, and see how she's opening the door? Mm -hmm. Now watch his butt. See how his butt's staying still and she just turned him in one spot. She didn't walk him around in a circle. Okay. Okay, and what that does is this keeps him from going forward. Now she's going to because I rode him, him like no. that and he thinks no. that he's... She, 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 see that? She it's okay. It's all pressure, though. They figure it out. Get him left and right a couple more times. Now just watch. See this hand still? That foot's on his belly. And see, that was a turn. It wasn't a big turn. It was a pivot. So. See, he's trying, but he's a smaller circle now. If you bring him still and you keep doing it over and over, you can get it to where he just moves his feet and he doesn't go forward. And I don't know if he'll do it with the other way. The bad way. <laughs> do you think you can get him to turn his haunches a little bit? Oh, I want to do that. You want to try with him just to see if he will? Is now, that her horse? Show him. Yeah. There. Keep doing it. Now she's trying to get him to just move his butt. And this is all with just playing with the reins. You can figure this out while you're on him. And he seems to be pretty good at learning. He knows how so to stop trying to because he can do it on the ground. But see, the thing is, it's converting it from the ground up. Mm -hmm. All right, there he goes. There he goes. Good job. Good job. Now do the front again. If you want to. Now see her feet. Mm -hmm. She's releasing one side. He thinks you're backing him up. He's trying to bring him up here and reset him. Just let him reset his brain. Just a little off whack. He's trying to figure out what she's telling him to do. Good job. He's a good horse. All right. I'm going to let you go one or two rounds mm -hmm. and then we'll get him unsaddled. Okay. And all. About the circle? <laughs> yes, ma'am. And I'd like, if you could, I want you to go around one or two laps in both directions, mm -hmm. but while you're doing it, yeah. the cones that are out, just kind of use your feet to go in and out with it, okay? Yeah. Thank you. It's harder when you're downhill from the horse and they seem a foot taller, isn't it? <laughs> okay, you come around this way, and okay. I want you to use your feet. And okay. the more you communicate with him, and he has to listen to what you're trying to say, eventually he's just going to listen to what so you're So you want me to go around the whole cones? Yes, ma'am. Is okay. that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And we'll go one or two times one way and one or two times the other. And I just want to see your feet, and I don't want to see this up here. Okay. And remember, always look to your next cone. That way your next one is where you're going. And you can come downhill first. I'm going to go to the barn, or you can go that way. I'm going to go to the barn. So he doesn't have the bad habit there. Okay. okay. You go this way. No. That was my fault.
I don't even think that was a cone. Come on, we're almost done. I oh, know. Can I turn right here? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't even try me. Oh yeah. Oh, he's got a poop.
Whoa. 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 Not that. Back up, back up. Okay, I ain't got them straight. No, no, it's okay, but I'm telling you why he's doing that. Okay. Because I can see from the front, one ring was just a little longer, so when you pull, it just kind of pulls them back at an angle like that. Where if they are straight, normally they'll take a step and a step, and you just, not hard, Better than we first was. <laughs> we was fighting with each other when you first heard. He knows it. Oh, he knows it. 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 It's just, I don't know it. Well, that's why you're learning. Mm -hmm. That's why you're learning. A lot of people don't take the time to learn what to do and they always blame the fish. Yeah, I was wondering when I rode him bareback, I he dead stop when I leaned back. Uh huh. And I guess because he learned how to he stop. The way. Well, if someone um, is pulling backwards on your shoulders, it's kind of hard to walk forward because your weight's on the rump. And if somebody's pushing on your shoulder, like if you're walking forward, you're putting that weight all down this chest right here. So it kind of stops them from the Now he, he tried me a little bit, but he was trying to run back to the barn. Yeah. Well, that's a good thing. And eventually he'll get it in his head. We're just going to come out here and we're going to work and do what she wants. And we're gonna bond. And to him, of course, he loves hanging out in the pasture and eating and, no, and standing in the pen. Mm -hmm. But he'll get to where he looks forward to doing it because he never knows what you're gonna do next. And you're not hurting him. Y'all are just doing something together. So. Oh, he was ready to ride. You seen him? He was... Yeah, he did. He didn't go nowhere, did he? <laughs> He's like, I'm waiting in the barn. Y'all come on. <laughs> But eventually he'll he'll really look forward to it. And you'll see when you come out, you know, he'll get easier and easier to do everything with us. And he'll really anticipate what we're doing today. And like today we did the cones. Last time we used trees. Well, next time we might do something else. But I kind of like the cones that you got. That gives you a direction and a spot to go to. Mm -hmm. Instead of me saying, go between those two bushes. <laughs> a little bit more before we left or no it's probably close to his feeding time okay <laughs> well that's something he's got to get used to doing too put that over his head on his saddle mm -hmm. you know, right oh this way you're not leading him with his mouth so Right here with this part. Oh, this part? Yep, just pull this out to you. Okay. And go under with this one. Okay. Yeah, about halfway. You want to grab right here and come in. Here you go. Hold on. Let me, can you hold this just mm -hmm. for a second? I'm sorry. Come on, get you to see it right here. I pull it out about the length I want it to hang down. And I come up just like that and grab it. 
and this leaves all this hanging down. See, before it was bowed way out here, but eventually it'll hang down. And then when you go to saddle them back up, you put this through the girth, and it comes all the way out. Mm -hmm. And if you don't like doing it, that's fine. But this no, makes it nice and neat. When you get it in the barn, it's Yeah, it's a lot easier, too, because I just flipped it out. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, he's getting a lot better.